I'm Old Sneelock. I went on a trip today and I found a couple of saws and I wanted to show you what they were. I'm going to do one of those wonderful what do we have in here reveals. Badly with a jackknife. And in there I have a dovetail saw. That's pretty cool. That is a 10 inch blade. It's not a fancy maker, although it does have the distant keystone in it, so it's probably a second. This is a warranted superior saw and someone painted it gray. Probably to identify it so that nobody else would walk off with their tools. Oh, there's something else in the bag. What's that? Well, it's not the same thing because the bag is definitely a different size. Yeah, that works better than the jackknife. Oh look, it's a gent saw. Somebody was not kind to this saw. It's gonna take a pretty major rebuild. Same length of blade, 10 inches. Blade's fairly straight. If there's an etch on there, I will be amazed. This one might have an etch. Usually they stamp something in the back, but I don't see a whole lot of marks. Ah, there might be something right there. Let's get a little bit of sandpaper and take a look. Right there, with a raking light, I can see just the side of a keystone there. And right there it says PAT. So I'm going to get out some wet and dry sandpaper, put some mineral spirits on it, and get a good pad, and go at this thing, see if I can't bring back that etch on, this, on the plate. It's not going to be anything wonderful. But it's interesting to know the history on the saw. This one says Clear as a Bell, Henry Diston, Philadelphia, number 68. Now that is a cool saw. Have to do some research on that and come up with an idea of who, when, and how. 
Thanks for watching.